we have here three dice in a lime green color. We have some purple tokens. And we have the game rules. Let's leave that out there. All right. So we have here several tokens that have the LCR Wild logo on it. Oh, a little swirly on the back. I like that. So here's the tokens here. And a little swirly on the back, like that. Then we have our dice. These seem, these kind of robust feeling dice. So we have the L, the C, the R, and then we have the pip, which means nothing. And then we have now the wild. And we're going to do a quick little gameplay now to show you how it all works. I need to disclose that I purchased this product myself for personal use. All the opinions you're hearing are my own. No one is paying for or pre-approved this review. So let's get back to it. Now I've set up a little game here of me and two other players. Now to play this, you definitely need at least three players. Now, here are the three dice and you only roll as many dice as tokens that you have or more. So if I have four tokens, obviously I can only roll three dice. But if I have two tokens, I only roll two dice, one token, one dice, no tokens I don't roll, but I'm not necessarily out of the game. All right, so let's do some quick gameplay here. Everybody has three tokens. I'm gonna roll first from here and right. So I move this piece to the right. Don't do anything with the other two pieces. They're rolling now. Nothing, nothing, then center. Then finally, right, right, then nothing. So they give me two tokens. Now as we go around here now, as you see, I have four tokens, so I'd roll all three dice. They have three, they'd roll all three dice. This person has one, so they would only roll, only roll one die because that's all they have. Now as the game kind of goes around and we're just moving things to the center, getting different stuff from each other like that, this is how the wild dice come into play. So if I roll the wild dice, roll wild on my dice, so if I only rolled one wild in the center, then the left, well, one round in the center, I'm gonna have two. So I go center, then I can pick a one from anyone. That's what the wild gives me the opportunity to do. So I'll take it from this person. If I roll two wilds, I can take two from one person or one from any two people. Now here's what's cool. If I roll three wilds, I get to take everything here in the pot. That's mine. So that's how the wild works in all the scenarios. Now as you go throughout the game, the game is finally over when one person is left with tokens. So even in this instance where this person has one token, let's say they lost that token and it becomes their turn, they just don't roll. Because when we roll the last two people, we can roll something and wind up giving them a token. So they're not out of the game yet. The only time that someone is that someone is out of the game is when all the tokens belong to one person. Now, if I get to this point and I have all the tokens and they have none, I don't roll. The game is over. I win. I either win the pot that's left there and it becomes mine, or all if I accumulated all the tokens, they're mine. But this cool little added feature now of the wild adds a lot of cool uh, st uh, strategy maybe to the game because now when you roll a wild you can change the face of that game in a whole new way versus just the left right center so i think it's definitely worth checking out an upgrade to the other game that adds a cool new feature to it yes you can play this game with the tokens or with the money or with singly wrapped candy or whatever you want to play with to add more fun to it but it's definitely a great game that you ought to check out and Check out my next video. Bye-bye.